Good evening class, it's Brittany Whitaker. I am here to talk to you about chapters 9, 10, 11, and 14. Um, what I studied in the Lucas text of these chapters is in chapter 9, it basically talked about organizing the body and how that helps bring structure and organization to the speech before, <coughs> excuse me, before presenting it and presenting it. Um, it gives it the limits of number of main points and it allows you to place the main points in strategic order. In chapter 10, I learned about the attention and the interest, meaning that it's always good to um, to be advised when you are making a speech um, to have a topic that is going to be very interesting, that's going to captivate the audience's attention. <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Which means basically amusing the audience with warmth and... Um, reinforcing the central idea of speech and offering um, different dramatic points um, that makes the speech exciting and new and fresh. In chapter 11, um, I learned about the outlining of the speech, which kind of reminded me of chapter 9, where it talked about organizing the body of the speech. Um, when outlining the when outlining your speech, it is important to have a specific purpose and identify the central idea. And also labeling the introduction, body, and conclusion as well. That kind of, to me, goes apart, goes alongside of organizing the speech as well. In chapter 14, this was my favorite um, part of the... Um, in chapter 14, it was my favorite chapter to study so far as well because it talked about the objects. It talked about the visual aids and the different objects. <coughs> Excuse me. The different objects and models that can help clarify um, the supporting of your ideas in your speech. This is something that I love. I've always been a visual person or a hands-on person, so this allows you the freedom to have graphs, charts, um, uh, photographs, drawings, whatever it is that you seem to. Um, be drawn into it allows you to have that when you are speaking or giving your speech it just helps captivate the audience attention and focus on what it is that you are trying to communicate it is also something that has to be considered when you have a visual aid just for the color the font just being sure that it is visible and clear but yet still simple these are the things that I've learned in these chapters and I hope you all have a great evening bye